after 20 years of illicitly losing Nintendo products on their stupid application, Gary's Mod has been forced to remove each and every piece of Nintendo property on it. Oof. Massive L for the company. Massive uh, L for modders, PC gamers, steampunks, you know, massive L for basically everyone, because this demonstrates something I've been telling uh, PC gamers for a while now. You know, I think this has been very evident, especially after, like, Yuzu being taken down the way it was, and uh, and seeing how people have reacted to that, you know, seeing, like, the Yuzu competitors, like, uh, the copycats being taken down. You know, I've been saying this for a while, but it does not matter how long people can get away with exploiting Nintendo's brand because eventually they're going to come after you and they're going to shut the entire thing down. Now, you you can cope and you can see, you can try and say like, oh, but but I'll just download another emulator, but uh, I'll just buy the next Pow World clone. You know, like I'll just I'll just uh, support Digimon. Like you can you can cry and see and cope and moan and bitch and cry as much as you want. But the reality is these kinds of derivative brands that blat uh, blatantly rip off Nintendo's property are doomed to failure, you know, no matter how long it takes to go through the court system, right? So that does include emulation, that does include PAL World, that does include – uh, you know, things like Gary's Mod, which uh, utilized Nintendo assets, right? You know, I'm curious at what point Nintendo is going to be comfortable going after Apple because, uh, you know, th there's all this talk about like, oh, Apple is allowing an emulator on the iPhone store. Well, that's not allowed, right? So Nintendo does have a right to take them down, right? Uh, it's going to happen eventually at some point through some method, but, like, the reality is you're not going to have emulations on iPhone, right? You're not going to have your Nintendo games on the iPhone. Just like you're never going to have them on the PC or the Xbox or the PlayStation brand, right? It is, it is becoming more and more clear that Nintendo is cracking down on this kind of thing. And people uh, people don't know how to cope with it because for the past 10 years that's been the go-to justification to write off Nintendo games you know like oh I'll just emulate that but can you though like that that's the reality like can you like again like if you emulate the thousand year door right if you pirate that sucker right you're telling Nintendo that like oh people don't want to pay, uh pay for classic paper mario games and you know the community isn't gonna like that you're not gonna get more of it right like why exactly would you ever do that like that doesn't make any sense the reality is uh pc gamers are desperately trying to downplay nintendo through any methods imaginable right you know that includes hyping up mobile games hyping up uh like uh a no name brands like Shift Up and Pocket Pair, you know, uh, pretending that what Power World did wasn't plagiarism, right? Like it's always been bad, you know. I, I've talked at length about how like people make up that myth about how like the N sixty four had a weird controller, or it had no games, or like uh, it was hard to for third parties to code for or something, right? Like I, I've talked at length about all of that, right? Uh. But, like, the reality is um, all of those excuses are getting brushed aside and gamers cannot, like, come up with more um, – cannot invent new excuses to to downplay Nintendo consoles, right? Like, the narrative has always been, like, well, I don't want a Nintendo console, so I'll just play my Nintendo game somewhere else, but – there's not going to be anywhere to play those games. Like, already there's not. Like, people are are, are, in, are in, um, desperately trying to downplay it, right? But the reality is you're simply not going to get a Nintendo emulation legally on any forms of hardware. So that that stuff is going to get cracked down on. You know, fan games are getting cracked down on. You know, you know, assets and tools being used. All it, all Nintendo needs to do is expand to the point where they can just take down that stuff one after the other. You know, um, again, they're expanding. They're getting more and more brutal at this about this. Right? It's uh, it's not something you're going to be able to get away with. For very, uh, for very much longer, right? The reality is you will never, 
ever be able to destroy Nintendo. And it's uh, very, very exciting to see. Uh, like, so many people cope and see even about this. It's just Nintendo cannot be beat. 